After watching this video, you'll be able to update any Samsung Galaxy smartphone, whether it's a decade old Galaxy S3 or one of the newer models. Now, why would you be watching this video? I assume either you're unable to receive updates automatically on your phone, maybe it's failing, or perhaps you are running a custom ROM and want to go back to the original firmware. In any case, whether your device isn't functioning properly or you want to upgrade or downgrade to stock Samsung firmware, this video is all you need. It covers all the issues you might face during this process and provides a step-by-step -step guide to make it easy. So get yourself ready by grabbing your laptop and ensuring your Samsung phone is charged. Ready? First, go to your phone settings, scroll down to the bottom and click on about phone here. Note the model number of your phone, which should start with something like SMG. For example, mine is SMG960F. Next, open any browser and visit the website from where we'll download the firmware for our device. The website is Sam Mobile. This website can be chaotic, so I suggest searching your phone model directly in Google and then opening the Sam Mobile link. Once you're there, verify the correct model for your phone and find the latest firmware update for your region. After searching for my country name by pressing Ctrl F, I'll be directed to the exact firmware for my region. Then, I'll simply select it and in the next step, I'll be prompted to join and download this firmware. Don't worry, there's no need to pay anything, just create an account on this website and then return to the same page to press download. Yes, the download speed might be slow, but that's okay. Now, while we are waiting for the download, I believe you know these videos are helpful, but surprisingly, 99% of people watching my videos don't subscribe. So please do it, it's free. Thank you for your support, I truly appreciate it. Once the firmware file is downloaded, we'll download Odin. I've provided links for you in the description below, so follow these to download the necessary files before starting this procedure. Now, we have both the Odin and firmware files downloaded in zipped form. Let's unzip both of these one by one. Next, open the firmware files, where you'll find five other files with an extension MD5. We will need four of these files to flash the firmware on our phone. If you're only updating your phone and want to keep your data and apps, you will choose the file starting with home in the upcoming process. If you're doing a clean install, choose the file starting with CSC. Don't worry, I'll remind you in the next steps. Another optional step is to remove the MD5 extension from these files to speed up the process, but it's up to you. Now let's move on to step one for flashing. Open Odin as an administrator. Once it's opened, turn off your phone and boot into download mode. To boot into download mode, press the power button, Bixby and volume down button together. If your phone doesn't have a Bixby key, you'll press the home button instead. If you're confused, just Google how to boot into download mode on Samsung with your phone name. When the download screen appears on the phone, connect it to the laptop using the data cable. If you see some random text with a COM port connected and the area turns blue, you have a good connection with the phone. If not, check your data cable and download Samsung drivers from the description below, install them and try again with Odin. Assuming we're on the same page now, let's upload files one by one. In the BL section, load the files starting with BL from the firmware we initially extracted. Load A files into the AP section. Then move on to the CP section and load the file. Then here you'll choose whether to keep your data or do a clean install. If you want to keep your data, choose the file starting with home otherwise choose the file starting with CSC. Since I'm doing a clean install, I'll choose the CSC file. Once it's loaded, press start. The process of flashing the firmware has begun. During this process, wait patiently and don't do anything like disconnecting the cable. Once everything is flashed, you'll see pass on the Odin screen and your phone will restart itself. Within the next 5 minutes, you'll be on the welcome screen and that's pretty much it. You can check your Android version in the settings to verify that your phone has been updated successfully. Now, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'll see you again.